Hey guys, I'm back with the next episode of Hunter Hunter. Before we jump into this episode, as always, please feel free to check out my Patreon. You can find that in the description below. So last episode, we left off on a pretty big uh, cliffhanger with Hisoka and the Phantom Troop. They all got read their fortunes and Hisoka got read his, but it seems there's a little bit of trickery, like true Hisoka fashion, and he's giving them something different than what he truly read, but it still is throwing him in a pretty dark light with his intentions. I'm just really curious to see how this plays out because he's in a room full of the phantom trooper right now and now they're questioning him about uvo so yeah pretty intense episode last one it felt it felt like kind of like another like layers episode where they're like laying down a little bit more pathways to see how i think this arc is gonna end because as we know hisoka has been kind of plotting against the troop and now with all the fortunes coming out and seeing hisoka's and him having to hide his true intentions i want to see how this this works against the troop and then you know also seeing the fortunes and seeing how kirapika with the red eyes is still being a part of it i don't know there's just so many different pathways and things that can happen and it's, it's really hard to predict what's going to happen <laughs> but man am i enjoying it so much this arc is just incredible i love it probably one of my favorite arcs in just anime as a whole so far but yeah i'm really eager to just jump into this episode with you guys i hope you guys are excited too but yeah let's just uh get right into this next one together picking up right where it was what's he gonna say to this yeah that's the thing can the prophecies be you know redirected once you know that was my question last episode Ooh, he's gonna play right through that. I mean, he's like the king of trickery, come on. Oh. Damn. Oh. Soka's such a fucking beast. <laughs> that was really good dialogue. Man, I really like that. There's like no backing down or anything. He's just... I, I just love Ahsoka's character. Like he truly is himself all the way through. Allies and lies. Oof. That's a perfect title for what's happening. Oh. <laughs> Damn, just like that? Oh! Damn! You really went the fort? Who did that? Did he do that? Oh, <laughs> did Krolo do that to him? Huh? Oh. Damn. I love, like, them talking to each other. Wow. Just like that. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. It's been a while. <laughs> oh my god. I want to see that though. Not like a horny fest, I just want to see them fight. Damn. Like I said, I like how they're all clever. They're not just villains to be villains. They're very well. Thoughtful, thought out people. <laughs> God, it's so good. I, I just love his trickery. He really does give me like Joker vibes. Cool, he's gonna explain it now. Oh. Damn. Oh, Ahsoka. He's thinking it all out. Oh, he wants to use this opportunity to fight him. 
the, 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 just thinking that Hisoka thought all this through, though, like, so clever. God, he's really just keeping them all here. <laughs> I love how calm they are about knowing that their fates are to die. They're just like, alright. This music. Damn, okay. Oh, oh, now we're jumping back to them. Oh man, what an opening. <laughs> I forget, they're still trying to do that whole thing. Like, we've been following a whole different plot line this arc. Gon's got an entire different plot. <laughs> Stepping out. <laughs> so it's 50-50. Damn, Killa was going with it. I mean, Kirapika is going to want to help, right? But he might have his own intentions. Because he knows the truth now. Oh, they're probably like, God damn. <laughs> oh, so there's something about the way that it's being played out, right? Oh. There's something off about that. Like, they're, they're almost being too descriptive of, you know, keeping the eyes safe. And you stay here, and oh, I don't have to go. I feel like something's gonna happen there. <laughs> oh man, that's so badass. It's true, he didn't really have help. I mean, he took down Uvo by himself. Oh. Damn, I like it. I like this, how Kill was talking in his head. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> well. まず、いや、それ以外は無視していい。オッケー。くれ。心中に。大丈夫。無理はしない。私と共に行動する運転手が。That's <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so it's another, like, take them one at a time kind of thing. This is so risky. I mean, we're talking about the Phantom Troop here. Like, God, this is a lot. Was, that wasn't even a second. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad he's honest. Damn, I kind of like the thought of like us being like assassins and taking them out one by one. Yeah, no shit. I mean, from the beginning though, Kirapiko was always a mystery. Especially when he first revealed his eyes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Such a great concept. God, I love that how he designed it. Oh, 
God, that was such a good fight. Yeah. Damn. I like this track. Okay, okay, cool. Condition, condition. Right. I love that. The whole Scarlet, Scarlet Eyes. It's just so good. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Wow. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they were just listening the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. There's the friendship. These characters are so good. I love these guys. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I feel like there goes Kilo again, kind of reflecting on his emotions towards all of this. We're having like real friends. I love it. Now we're back here. Damn. Wow. God damn. It's like their fate. I mean, they should be focusing on breaking it, right? <laughs> I like these groups. How do you forget about that? That's big! Yeah, he's like excited about trying to recruit someone. I forgot Krola wasn't there. I feel like this just changes a lot, right? Uh, the thing I love about Krolo is he like treats his people like family, like he listens to them. He's a great leader. I really like Krolo. Even though he's like the villain almost. Or it's just gray. That's tricky how we can make copies. Ooh. Wow, he's, he can do he's he can do that? Make buildings? Oh man. I like seeing Kilowa like on at a stakeout though. Like, I love this atmosphere. Alright, kinda like a prep episode. Very big dialogue heavy episode. The discussion between Kiropika, Kilowa Gone, and Lyria was great. I love that. You know, coming back to the whole friendship vibe. So good. Kiropika trusting them and giving them the information because you know he knows how close they are now. I, I just I just love that whole scenario. But then, you know, to start off with Hisoka, man, and tricking that, like, Hisoka is really clever. Like, I love Hisoka. He's so good. I mean, the horniness, you know, gets in the way sometimes, but, you know, he, he just has a passion like anyone else. 
But yeah, the fact that he's still using his trickery, like, I love it. He just gives me such, like, a Joker vibe. And seeing Crollo, like, seeing the way Crollo treats his, uh, troop, like, I love it. Like, Crollo's a really good leader. He's a great character. And I really want to see, like, a Crollo, Hisoka, like, some type of, like, I love when they interact. And I want to see, like, a fight between them, especially, like, the way Hisoka talks. And, you know, Hisoka wants that more than anything. But yeah, figuring out all this fortune stuff still. It's really interesting. And can you still break the fortunes? Hisoka just being so clever and changing his fortune and and making a pretty damn like elaborate riddle for them Like he made it really like intelligent and like credible like I'd believe him and he did all that like quick on the draw I just love the twists and turns of the show like the, the the dialogue like it's not like just action action and any of that Like the dialogue just everything is so like elaborately written especially just with the way everything's kind of like playing out like using the fortunes was such like a really smart concept for the audience to kind of like have to navigate through this like labyrinth because it feels like a maze now of like you know what could pot what, what could all these messages possibly mean and hisoka just being involved too by like kind of being like the the red herring like trickery just to throw everybody off a little bit now this episode is one of those like dialogue ones that kind of gave you a really good amount of like both sides of the the plot and even hearing aloud how uh Kirapika's abilities with the chain work too. I, I like hearing it again. It's nice always getting more insight into that. And I like how they all know now about the whole condition thing. Just overall really great informative episode and definitely like a build up one. I said this, I think in the previous episode too, it, things are like kind of like starting to, you know, build again. That, that happens a lot this arc. Like it's it builds and then something crazy happens. Build, something crazy happens. And that's what it's feeling like right now. It feels like it's building again. And these next few episodes, cause there's only a few left. That's when everything's gonna happen. But yeah, like I said, a really great building hype episode. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode with me. I hope you guys are enjoying these reactions and the series with me. Please let me know in the comments if you are. I'm having a great time. I love the show and I know you guys do too. But yeah, again, I just really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you for the next episode of Hunter Hunter. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.